these handles are going to pop really fast. Yeah. Doing all right? Not burning yep. yourself? Yep, I'm good. All right, good. Yeah, the glove actually kind of filled over. So. Yeah, I did the same thing. All right, so we got that. Let's go there. All right, we're all back. Oh, thank you. Dave's taking the, the crucible with the mold out into the vacuum. Seated. You're good for it, right? Yep. The molten aluminum. Position? It's over here. It's all good. I'm not gonna melt snow Put another drip on there for me. It's like skateboarding, you gotta eat it quite a few times before you get it good. Yeah, yeah. Alright, we're gonna go back to the top. Yeah. No, it's like after two weeks ago. You can see it shrinking. Uh, it's like sucking down in there. Yeah, that's why you pour an extra uh, the spruce has got more. Right, so it's got this whole cone. Yeah, the spruce, yeah. Yeah, there, there's the there's the main button, if you will, that fills up the funnel, and then all the sprues that go down to each of the you know primary distribution points on the main model. Oh, okay. That's all right, everybody, be aware again. Yeah, actually, that might. So now we're gonna quench it, and the hope is that it will break the plaster. And not our faces, but maybe my hurting standing. No, but it can't fly. Yeah. You don't have to go to the middle. You don't want to have to go to the we need to go to the hospital, Richard can get us a reservation. <laughs> I really wonder if I could see myself with my radio. Woo! Woo! There's a thing! Whoa. Hanging out in there! Whoa! Like, like, you're gonna right. Holy! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, Looks like we might not be perfect, but there's a thing! Like, yeah, there's 70% of a thing! 70% of a thing, yeah. It looks like we had a blowout, but... You might clean up. No. <laughs> no, no, we, we did have a blowout. See, it blew out through the side there. Um, so the mold fractured at some point? Yeah, and it could be due to the fact that this is a really big PLA cast and they warp pretty strongly when they're heated. And so strong shapes made out of PLA, I've had crack the mold before, um, you, just uh, while they're heating. Can you, uh, can you put something you else in the refractory, like carlite or sand or something to kind of keep it from doing that more? No. So, but from my perspective, I could have put a lot less PLA in this model. And it would have made it weaker. And that would have been actually somewhat beneficial. But yeah, yeah but it so didn't occur to me. You can, see, you can see right here. Well, okay, so there it just fell out, but you can see where it came out through the side of the flask right there. And it was it was wanting to form all of this, but 
but it just followed the vacuum. Right, and right on out the side. And so this didn't form completely. And it looks warped, too. I think this part bent while... It and probably was. delammed at, at a layer right there yeah, in the middle. Yeah, so you can see this, this did not, and so that actually cast really nice. But this part here stretched and broke the mold. It's one of a kind. It broke the mold. <laughs> <laughs> What's but, so that's to? what they really mean when but they the, say the top you looks the really good. Like where it poured <laughs> in, it did a great job right until it hit the part where you see know, it hit the blow up. So yeah. hmm. you see that one. Like this looks beautiful. It's just where it lost vacuum. You can use sand, but sand has some challenges, like it doesn't tend to blow up there with the holes. Well, that's why I said mix the sand in with the, with the plaster. With the plaster, yeah, to give it more heat. The, the uh, well, and mostly what it is is like I mixed it really strong yeah. because it was a heavy model. But I've had this problem with PLA. If you print it too 